most people to whom I explain your version of Batman are often put off by his nature as a villain, as an antagonist in the epic. And what, what was the thought process behind making him that antagonizing force for Clark? I, I, the thing about Batman is it's so crazy, right? It's so crazy. It's like we don't investigate the idea anymore because we're so used to it. But Billionaire puts on Bat costume as a response to childhood trauma and then physically harms people. And the people he fights are sociopaths and murderers and terrorists. I was like, this is nuts. Like the premise of Batman makes the premise for Spider-Man look completely normal. Like, like because at least there was a radioactive spider. What's the, why is it a bat? The reason it's even a bat changes from story to story in Batman. Like it's changed like five times. Who shot his parents has changed multiple times. And then he drives in a Batmobile and his sidekick is named after a bird and it's a little kid. Like what? every part of it is nuts and iconic. And wouldn't if you encountered Batman and you were Clark Kent, wouldn't the trauma and shock of experiencing that person in a cape, the first person you have ever experienced do something supernatural seeming other than yourself, right? Because Clark has never met another alien. In, in American Alien issue four, that is the first time he has encountered someone like that, a superhero. And I thought, yeah, that would be the first time because Bruce Wayne would be the only person crazy enough and rich enough to it organically make Batman happen. And I went, well, who the fuck would do that? How do I juxtapose him against Clark? Clark is a guy who ultimately chooses to act in kindness and risk his own life out of a deep desire to help other people, which comes from his upbringing and the way he is. It just makes him feel good to do it. There's no shame in it feeling good to help people. Bruce, well, how do I juxtapose that? What's the sharpest juxtaposition of Superman and Batman's origin? Bruce is the wrong type of hero. Bruce is someone who helps people from pain. He cannot function without inflicting pain. And that was the moment, I remember that really well. That was during American Alien when I had this realization. I was like, when you look at Batman, and I've said this recently publicly, when you look at Batman, you are looking at someone who underwent a traumatic event and has dedicated their life to revenge. That's, that's not a good guy. That's someone teetering on the edge of sanity because with that much resources, you'd be so isolated. You never really addressed your trauma to the point that you're getting catharsis through violence. He's a terrorist and once that thought train. I know Batman's not a terrorist. He's a cool superhero. But once that thought train got started, I was like, oh shit. The second Bruce meets Clark, Clark's gonna be Superman. Just because that guy, that guy can't be the guy. That can't be the, the other superhero, someone who breaks into someone's house and attacks them. So that finding the sort of nuance of trying to bring the idea of Batman unnecessarily back from the realm of the ridiculous into the realm of the real, I took the mental illness path and just leaned all the way in. And yeah, he's an antagonist for a long time. 